Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid. This is the latest painting in my Cobblestone Lane collection. Now for those of you who have been following the Cobblestone Lane collection, you will know it has been one of the most popular series I've ever done. Beginning with the original Cobblestone Lane, we have traced an imaginary village step by step through close-up vistas and distant horizons as we've explored a perfect and tranquil English village. The latest piece in the Cobblestone Lane collection is Cobblestone Mill. Now this is an imaginary mill, but it's based on some of those I have seen in my country rambles throughout England. Now if you know anything about England, you know the people in that wonderful country love to walk. So much so, they've created an entire system of lanes and footpaths that go throughout the countryside. Now this is very exciting to us Americans who tend to think of hiking as something you only do in wilderness areas. Well in England, you do it right through the farms, through the fields, through the villages. And of course Nanette and I got enamored with the idea of walking through the countryside, or as they call it in England, rambling. And we rambled all over the Cotswolds, we've rambled all over southern England, in the beautiful Lake District up in the Midlands, and of course throughout Scotland. Now these country settings are inspiring because the architecture is so old and timeless. Now this mill is based on a mill I actually saw in the district of Hampshire. Uh, of course you see mills in England are a little different than some of the New England mills we're used to because the water flows beneath the wheel. It's called an undershot mill as opposed to an overshot mill which is more typical of American mills where the water comes down and fills buckets that then turn the wheel. Now in England the stream literally runs right through oftentimes under the mill itself and through a channel that goes beneath the wheel to spin it. The sense in England often is that you use the materials at hand and Frequently, a structure has been built over many centuries, so you have this idea that one part was done with one material, later other materials were added. The stream itself was fun to paint because I love the idea of motion within a painting. Here we have moving water cascading over the rocks and catching the daylight as it streams through the trees. In the distant forest, you see light glowing amongst the leaves of the trees, almost flickering as though you have a glimpse here and there of a heavenly light appearing in the distance. I wanted a sense of morning mist, and so you'll really see uh, behind the mill itself that luminous quality of mist rising and the sunlight hitting that beautiful mist. Of course, dappled light is one of my favorite subjects. You see dappled light in the foreground areas and also on the mill itself. That, of course, is one of my favorite things to paint. Each painting is a journey into an imaginary world, and nowhere have I been more engaged than in this entire series called Cobblestone Lane. It's as though each painting is a daydream that I half remember, half have visited, and yet part of me knows that there is no place like this, that this is a place that exists only in an imaginary world of my own creation. So when I work on the Cobblestone Lane paintings, I'm always bridging off my experiences in England, having lived there for months, having traveled there extensively, hiked through the countryside many, many times, and yet it's only a starting point. And really what I do as an artist is then mold those in to an imaginary world that I like to think is all my own. When I finish a painting, my prayer is always that God will take this simple canvas, this simple image, and will reach out into people's lives in a fresh way. You know, there's so much bad news that we see on the news and read in newspapers, but the fact is this world is filled with beauty. There is hope, and now more than ever, we need to be reminded of that. Cobblestone Mill celebrates the blessing of God's abundance. This is Thomas Kincaid, as always, thanking each of you for sharing the life.